Welcome, and I'm going to talk today about how breasts sag. And breasts can sag. And the definition of sag, we're going to start with this statue of Venus de Milo. And what I want you to see is that when you look at the breast, right under the breast, where the breast meets the chest, there's a natural breast fold that exists. If you compare it to the top of the chest, um, the top of the chest, it kind of blends. There's not a natural fold. Under the breast, there is. That's called the inframammary fold or the breast fold. And it's that fold that's the key landmark. And the other key landmark is the nipple. So it's a relationship of the nipple to the breast fold. When the nipple is beneath the breast fold, that's when we call it sag. And obviously the statue does not show that relationship. And why does sag occur? And sag occurs fundamentally because there's stretch of the skin. The skin is stretched. And it's illustrated by this uh, photograph of this peacock with its tail outstretched. You, when you look at the tail outstretched, you can see light between there. It's thinned. You can see structures behind there. So skin is made up of different building blocks. And one of the key building blocks, probably the uh, main building block of skin, is illustrated by this picture, and it's called collagen. And collagen exists as uh, structures that are arranged just like these rope, this, these rope strands are arranged. They're parallel. They're built of other building blocks where they're woven tightly together, much like each of these individual rope strands is woven together. There's hardly any space between them and uh, they're packed closely and tightly together. Now, with pregnancy, with massive weight loss, with very heavy breasts, these collagen strands can break and when they break they're not as strong. And if you add heaviness to that, it can cause sag. Situations where this heaviness occurs or the sag occurs are pregnancy, weight loss, or if breasts are excessively large. And those situations are illustrated by these three set of pictures. One is the lady where She's pregnant, and not only do breasts tend to get larger in pregnancy, and then later on often lose volume, they, hormone, in pregnancy hormones are released, and those hormones also result of the weakening of that collagen that we talked about. In massive weight loss, this is illustrated by this picture of a model where she gets in excessively large pants. And, and the point here is that if you have someone that was very large and they lose weight, often the tissues have already been stretched. Those strands of collagen have been torn. And the third picture is balance. And if you have something very heavy, like an excessively large breast, uh, that has to be balanced and held in place by skin that's strong enough. And that's illustrated by the balance of the two rocks, if you would. Later on in a different lecture, we'll cover the different types of sag. To review the Venus of Milo points, a uh, key point is the natural fold under the breast. And it's when that nipple is beneath that fold that sag is defined.
So I hope this video has been helpful for you uh, in that it illustrates some of the different causes of SAG as well as what SAG is. And uh, thank you for watching.